In this Rhino Inside Revit video, an example file, we're going to use Grasshopper to modify curtain panel parameters to generate design variations from a single point in Rhino. Okay, uh, let's start off with the curtain panel. Uh, we just use the regular curtain panel template. It's going to keep everything flexible. I added uh, three family parameters, one for the peak offset, one for the window point offset, and then the just kind of a horizontal panel offset. I also added in parameters for the materials, one for each of the of our curtain panels. Uh, just using the basic curtain wall panel allows us to keep it flexible so we can we can move curtain grids back and forth. Alright, starting off on a new file, I like just to use the basic curtain wall one. This doesn't constrain any of our curtain grids, so we can add these in as we want. And let's add in a horizontal or two. We could select our curtain panels, and switch them out for our custom family. This allows for a real, real quick placement and modification. So we want to add in a grid or change the spacing. We can do that really quick without uh, with flexible curtain panels. Okay, so let's add in some mullions. I'm just going to do all grid lines. I'm going to edit that mullion style type. Uh, give it a more substantial thickness. Just enough so it comes out over the edge. So maybe 2.6. Then I took all the horizontals, edit their type, uh, duplicate, so thick, and make that like three inches on each side. All right. Okay, uh, you have the example files, but I'll run through the Grasshopper script real quick just to give you a good idea of what's going on. So in this case, I just selected one graphical element, which was our curtain panel, our curtain wall. Got the grids, analyzed the curtain grids to get all our panels. From here, uh, I inspected the elements to get our parameters, uh, created a material, name the material, and set the element parameter for the three materials. So we have a, a black strip, glass, and then um, a more solid panel. The only parameter that we're actually offsetting or updating in this in this definition is the, the peak offset, which is this middle part. Uh, how we're doing that is getting the bounding box for all the panels, uh, querying the closest point to the center of the box, and then creating a domain which we are assigning uh, an opening offset size. So this could be any number of fixed sizes. This kind of keeps the dimensions even. Um, and we're casting it to a number. 
and changing the element parameter. Um, here's a, another example that we're doing that is taking the same numbers from the distances and creating this, this color chart by remapping, uh, remapping the numbers in the domain uh, so we could feed it into this gradient component. The point uh, is just a internalized grasshopper point, which then provides us with a gumball and a rhino that we can move around. So really, this could be anything. This could be your your sunlight, your view direction, uh, any sort of method of uh, that you could come up with to create this location. So, thank you.